This training will help you use the Faculty Recording Studio at BGSU to record using the black backdrop and an optional laptop. When you enter the room, make sure the computer monitor is turned on. Locate the video camera and use the power button on the side to turn it on. When the screen turns blue, use the, a combination of the zoom in and out button and the photo button to select the PC camera. Make sure your microphone is on and that the light here is green. Next, locate the monitors on and off button near the front of the room and press monitors on. Head back to the touchscreen monitor and select start meeting. Using the screens in the room, adjust the camera so that it is facing the black screen and has the image that you want displayed. If you'd like to connect your laptop to show in the recording, tap the screen share button and then launch Zoom on your laptop. Sign in to the BGSU Zoom and select the screen sharing button then in the Zoom application on your laptop. There should be a sharing key on the screen, which is six alphabetical letters. Enter that in your laptop's Zoom connection and hit connect to join your laptop to the recording studio. To start the recording in Zoom, tap anywhere on the monitor and bring up the Zoom menu. Tap the three dot icons for more and then tap start recording. You'll be prompted to record to the cloud, so enter your BGSU email address and then press OK. You should now see the recording icon in the top left of the screen. Go ahead and sit down by the black curtain and complete your recording. When you're finished, walk back over to the touchscreen monitor, tap and press end and then end meeting for all to finish your recording. Press and hold the power button on the camera to turn it off. Move the slider on the microphone to turn it off and then locate the monitor's off button on the wall to turn the rest of the room off. Once you return to your office, you should have an email in your inbox from Zoom with a direct link to your recording. Keep in mind that these will not show up in your standard list of recordings, and it is highly recommended that you download the video immediately um, so that you can then edit and upload this wherever you need it to go. Keep in mind that if you do continue to use the Zoom link in your email to access the video, you'll have 100 days before that video is automatically deleted.